So after eight, possibly nine years, I have delivered my novel to my publisher and it is to all intents and purposes finished. There will be some tweaking after the copy editing comes in. Um, but over the last four months, I have been polishing and polishing and polishing every day, including Christmas Day, sometimes for hours, um, often reading it aloud, which is a very good way of getting a sense of how sentences and paragraphs scan. Um, and I have cut it down um, 7,000 words, or about 35 pages. Um, Uh, someone said to me at the London Book Fair the other day, you have to cut all the fat because no matter how much fat you cut, there will still be fat there. Um, have I done that? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, um, but I will certainly do that um, uh, again. Um, but it is, as I've said in a previous video, a long novel contains fat and I think we... Um, we kind of expect that um, but I think I've been pretty harsh and firm and stern with myself um, it's called Family of Love it is a theological novel whatever that might be in the sense that it um, discusses the nature of faith in the 21st century um, in Western culture in in a sense in a, in a post-religious world um, it is not a religious book and it is not a book um, that has a purely atheistic point of view I, the strap line that I came up with in order to position it for people as they, as they try and work out what I'm trying to do is that atheists will reject this book believers might burn it um, I don't want to su suggest that it offers a middle way. Um, I'm not sure that it offers anything at all um, in terms of spiritual guidance. It is merely one man's encounter uh, and sort of spiritual trauma from an encounter. Um, but anyway... Um, it, it will be published on the 25th of September 2017, all being well. Um, I am, um, on, just on another note, because um, um, there's been quite a lot of um, noise on Twitter since I put this uh, statistic up, um, that I was told at the London Book Fair by an editor that um, the average sales of literary novels in the UK... Um, uh, is 261 copies um that's how how niche a novel can be in the sort of subgenre of literary fiction um i do hope i can sell more than that um uh, but who knows you know it's a long and difficult novel um i will probably be doing well i won't the publisher will be doing a a a a, 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 a print run, a special edition print one of a hundred. Um, so if you want one, you need to let me know. You can, um, you know, type down there and um, I will work out numbers, but it's likely to be about a hundred um, and they will be numbered and signed, etc, etc. Um, on to other things. Um, uh, for those of you who've been following the uh, extended narrative of the prize I started uh, last year, we had the final um, uh, final winners event, um, and uh, I'll put some pictures up in a second. Uh, we had four winners. The idea was to spread the love, spread the money, not just have a have one winner. Although people keep telling me you have to have one winner for impact, so you've got to go. This is the winner. Uh, whatever, but um, I'm slightly challenging that orthodoxy. Uh, we had four winners in the sense that we had a first novel winner, um, and um, uh, so I've just turned on my other computer because I'm going to tell you what I said. So, it, by um, Paul Stambridge's Forbidden Line by Galley Beggar, which I said um, 
forgive me, I'm just going to move this slightly. What did I say about it? Um, I said, um, written with almost uncontainable exuberance, a no-net high-wire act of the imagination, this novel will be a cult classic for a while, but it'll be a classic for much longer. So that was my summing up of the uh, best first novel. Um, and that was chosen entirely by me, because it's my prize, so I can do things like that. And then we had two runners-up. Um, um, we had six judges in the end, uh, and people gave me their first, second, and third choice. Um, the winner, which we'll get to in a second, most of you know that is if you follow me on Twitter, was unanimous. But the um, uh, the votes for the second and third were absolutely tied. So um, these are runners up, and but they are neither second or third; they are the same. Um, so the first one. Um, is Anna, Anna Canna, um Schofield's Martin John, published by And Other Stories in the UK. Uh, and I said about this, um, a novel about public sexual exposure and pathological behaviour. It makes no judgment. It renders my Martin John's world with phenomenological honesty. It is writing as a moral act. Um, and it's an extraordinary book. Um, and then the other runner-up, not second, is the brilliant Mike McCormack's Solar Bones. Um, in, in any other year, this probably would have won, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what did I say about this? Um, uh, uh, it's formal elegance meets quiet profundity in a novel that sets a new bar for fiction about a family. No other novel I've ever read portrays the lived experience of dying with such precision and beauty. And for those who have followed, who haven't followed other videos, it is uh, written in my favourite form, which is the single run-on sentence. So it is just one sentence long. And then the unanimous um, winner um, is Counter Narratives, John Key, published in this country by uh, by Fitzcarraldo Editions and New Directions in the US. Um, and I said, uh, not only a once-in-a-generation achievement for short-form fiction, it's subject matter, formal inventiveness, multitude of voices and seriousness of purpose transform a series of thematically linked stories into a complete work of art. Um, so they were the, pri they were the winners. Um, they got money, love, glory... Um, and just so people know, uh, most of the money went to the presses because they're taking the financial risk um, uh, publishing these books. Um, there was some press attention, which was great, and uh, I've been approached from I had been approached by other people to finance the prize for its second year, so uh, we're in a good place there. Um, and I guess that's it. Um, can't think of anything else to say. Um, it's been the, the the delivery of my novel and the um, administration administration of this prize over the past four months has been. Uh, I mean, I I was burnt out, absolutely burnt out. I my brain was actually full. I had complete cognitive overload. Um, things I was being told things, and there was actually no space left I mean no space left for them to go in I was just uh, it was extraordinary I now know the capacity of my brain and that is a 200,000 word novel a literary prize and the other bits of life I, I, I couldn't I, there is no more I don't know what else could be given to me but I'm sure something else but everything I think was anything else was given to me I would be unable to cope. I, I have found my limit, um, which is good, I guess. So, yeah, anyway, thank you very much.